Hey guys, this is Kate and I'm going to do a layout using the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan collection. I'm going to move pretty fast through here. I just have all of my embellishments out. Some totally random things, some twine, that's some twine from Target, some gold heart brads, just a ton of random things that I pulled together and you're going to see me dump it out here. A lot of stuff from Studio Calico kit. Some arrows, some October afternoon buttons. I've already layered my photograph here, and I'm just measuring to make sure that that's straight. I put everything down with temporary adhesive, though. I'm going to pull out some mists that I will end up using. Those are October afternoon pink lemonade, October afternoon lemon drops, and October afternoon token. And then one of the tumble dies from Hobby Lobby and the Heidi Swap color shine in gold lame. So I just kind of sprinkle them everywhere. I dry them um, before I put the gold down because I don't want it to run with the other colors. So I kind of dry it a little bit with my heat tool just to make sure it's not going to smudge. So that is one of the branding strips off the bottom of that piece of triangular jersey paper. I'm really going to go through a lot of fussing here, try to figure out how I want to layer these embellishments. I know I need something to balance that polka dot paper on the other side. And adding that big floral there does not do the job, so I will end up taking that off. I try a little baggy, I try a tag, and... Try some arrows, try some twine. I just left all this in here so you kind of see my thought process. I love these speech bubbles that I embossed, but it doesn't go the right way for this picture. So I'm going to show you really quick. I have a video on this um, specifically, but I'm going to show you real fast how I do that. I just put it face down in the Versamark, put some embossing powder over it, and then try not to burn my hands. <laughs> and then I don't even end up using it because it's not big enough. The proportion's not right. And all the bigger ones went the wrong way for the angle of her face. So I'm just going to take some branding strips from the um, Dear Lizzie collection and stick them on the top and bottom of this layout. I really wanted to use this turquoise arrow one. And I had to just end up cutting it off of this piece of paper because I, did, I didn't have a scrap of one. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I'm just going to cut a few little pieces. Is that the Neapolitan collection? Some of it's Neapolitan. That's Fifth and Frolic. I'm sorry. That's Dear Lizzie F Fifth and Frolic, not Neapolitan. Actually, there are some pieces from Neapolitan, but it's mostly Fifth and Frolic. And then I'm just cutting things to try to balance them out a little bit. That is some of the crepe paper little vellum banners that are so cute. Just use three of them there. I end up covering up that gold, I think. Oh, I try a Brad. Uh, couple brads. It doesn't work out right. And then I'm going to try a Dear Lizzie from the Neapolitan collection embellishment. That's my second pack of those, by the way. I used a whole pack already. I love those. Which, it's cute, but it's not the, like, not the look or the feeling of this picture at this time, because it was actually at Christmas time. And I just feel like that, I mean, it is I did use springy colors, but I think that kind of puts it over the top of spring. So, looking for some stickers here. I like them, but I end up changing it. I don't know why. I should just go with my first instinct, because I really did like those. I liked what they said. Then I'm going to use these little triangles to fill that kind of blank. I left that kind of blank space up there that was really bothering me. And I needed to fill it. So, I probably should have put five triangles there. It would have looked better. I like to have an odd number, but I only put three. Then I realized that this is just too much over here, so I just trim it off. And then I didn't trim it even, so I just kind of round up the edges a little bit to disguise it. I'm still trying to use those stickers, but it's just not working. So now I'm just going to zoom in. And for some reason, it never really focuses, but I'm just gluing down some October afternoon buttons. They're from all different collections. Uh, I'm not really sure which ones. I think Farmhouse and maybe Sidewalks. 
I'm just sticking some, um, a little gold paper clip and then a, it's an October afternoon ticket or part of an October afternoon ticket. Enamel dots. I love them. Just placing them amongst the splatter. I try to, you know, use embellishments in the same colors as the paint splatter or at least similar so that they don't stand up too much. That is how really quickly I showed you how I don't like to keep like those enamel dots and rhinestones and things in the cellophane packaging because it's just like too crinkly and takes too much time every time I want to use them. So I just put some adhesive onto the cardboard part and then glue like the little acetate backing down to it so that way I don't have to keep it in that bag. So this is the finished layout. I just kind of skipped to it here. I added some October afternoon alphabet stickers and some journaling and some date stamps.